Hi, Linda Kay here from lindakaystampandpage.blogspot.com with my January 10th video to the collab I'm in titled 10 on the 10th. This collab is hosted by Kim, who is Metal Scrap and Chick here on YouTube. And the purpose of this collab is to help us get our Christmas cards done by doing 10 every month, 10 more or less every month. And that way, when December rolls around, we have all of our cards done and we can enjoy the holidays with our family. It works really swell. And if you'd like to join, I will leave a link to Kim's channel. You can head on over to her channel and give her a message and ask her if you can join in. But I'm going to quickly show you uh, the products I used and then I'll show you the cards that I've created. Uh, for the dies, I bought these dies last year and they were creative dies, uh, cuddly characters, and there were 10 of them. So we had a Santa, a little polar bear, an elf, a snowman, a penguin, a gingerbread man, a robin, I guess, a little reindeer, figgy pudding, or I don't know what that is, and then a precious little angel. So I used all those dies, and I just used scraps to cut them out, and then in addition to um, the dies, I did pull out this Crafter's Companion 3D um, Holiday embossing folder as well as I pulled out the vintage Christmas the Merry Christmas sentiment I used the Elizabeth craft uh, fitted rounded square dies I also used the curvy dies by Stampin up the word wishes dies by Stampin up uh, the stitch triangle dies by Stampin up by Gemini, I use the scalloped edge circles too, and then I also use the torn edges hexagon dies, and I did use the um, glittering snowflakes by um, Crafter's Companion, and then by Stampin' Up, I for stamp sets I use the itty bitty Christmas stamp set as well as a wrapped in Christmas dies. Uh, embellishments. I pulled out some of these are retired, some are current. Um, these are the frosted um, sequins. They, I'm sure they're retired. And then I had these red rhinestone basic jewels by Stampin' Up. Uh, these are just generic little teeny weeny rhinestones. I used uh, the star designer elements by Stampin' Up. And I had some of these can company um, bling that I used. I picked up at Tuesday morning a few years ago. Uh, inks. I used Soft Sky, Garden Green, and Real Red. Punches. I pulled out this retired uh, Star Punch by Stampin' Up. As well as this oval um, three-quarter and by five-sixteenths uh, punch by Stampin' Up this little tiny round one by Stampin' Up. I don't remember what that one was called, but it's retired. And then I use my little handheld punch by Stampin' Up. The papers, um, I did pull out Myths and Magic Stampin' Up by Stampin' Up. And then I pulled out this Jolly Jamboree by Recollections that I've had in my stash for a long time. And I used some of that and I'm getting down there. I just have, what is it, three full sheets and some scraps. I used that and then I had one sheet that I pulled out of this Me and My Big Ideas. I don't know what it was called because the cover was gone, but I used uh, one sheet out of that. And then I did, for the card bases, I did use um, some ready-made card bases that I had um, from recollections. So I'm going to quickly go over the cards that I created. Some are cute, some are cuter. Okay, here's the first one. Um, like I said, I did use scraps to do all the little cuddly characters. And uh, then I just layered them up on different things. And the inside is like that. And here, note to everybody. If you don't stamp real nice and you have a little blemish or a little 
blemish on there, it's, that blemish needs to be embellished. So that's what I did right there. And um, so that's the first one. Here is the gingerbread man. He's supposed to be on a dish. And that's how the inside looks. Here's the figgy pudding. Again, it's supposed to be kind of like on a dish. And again, I had little boo-boos. So I just put some stars there. Nobody will know. Uh, here is the little snowman. I thought he turned out cute. Let it snow. Oh, and this, I didn't, I forgot about this. This is a Tonic Studio strip dye right there that I used. That's the inside. And here is the little teddy bear. They were fun. I mean, they were real fun to put together, but once I had to put them on a card, it was kind of hard for me to uh, come up with a design, you know, because they're so round and you put them on a round circle, covers the whole card. But they turned out cute. And I'll use the coordinating envelopes. And here's this one. I made tinsel on the tree and used a little star up there. Um, I'll use the coordinating envelopes and I'll stamp them up and dress them up. I might use some more of that card to make liners. And here is the sweet little angel. This is just an A2 card. And then I did make a slimline card. Here's this one. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing my January 10th edition of 10 on the 10th. And like I said, I will leave a link to Kim's channel and head over to her channel as well as all the other participants. I will leave their links below and get inspired to do your Christmas cards early. You, you won't believe how wonderful it feels to come into October and you have all your cards done. You're not scurrying around to get those done, plus the baking, the wrapping, the buying, all that other, you know, stuff that goes along with the holidays. Well, thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hey, hit that little notification button down there. That way you are assured of never missing another one of these marvelous videos. Well, catch you next month. Bye.